and welcome to episode three of My Salty Sea Life. I'm Larkin and I will be your host as we take an inside look at what it's really like to live and work aboard a ship on the open sea. This week we begin the data collection, science First things first, where are we? We started our journey in Honolulu, Hawaii. We traveled southeast 1,288 miles. That's about four and a half days as the crow flies. Until we got here, three degrees north and 152 degrees west. Official location, the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. Well, now that we know where we are, what are we doing here? Science is our name, getting mud is our game. That's right, we're here for mud. <laughs> but Larkin, there's no mud here. We're surrounded by thousands of miles of water. You're right, we are. But there's mud below us, and that's the mud we're after. But that's gonna be like a mile down or something. Actually, it's 5,300 meters, which means 17,388 feet, 3.3 miles all the way down to the ocean floor. Uh-huh. And how are we planning on getting that? Allow me to introduce you to the multi-core. I give you the MC800, 1,200 pounds of pure mud collection bliss. This beautiful beast extracts samples so that the bottom layer of seawater and the top layer of sediment remain intact, even on the 3.3 mile ascent to the surface. Drew will explain how. Um, so what happens is we'll deploy this off the back of the ship and we'll lower this all the way to the bottom. And once it hits the bottom, this part here will actually sink down into the mud a couple of feet. And these tubes will fill with mud. And then once we start pulling back up on the wire, the, uh, the slide collar will release all the lids and feet and that will trap the mud into the tubes. And a little something like this. And so when we come back up to the surface, we have perfect samples from uh, the mud and the water from the seafloor trapped inside these eight shuttles. And the scientists can take them into their labs and they can sample them. Science is so exciting, especially when you're exploring places with new equipment that's never been used before. It can also be a little frustrating when it doesn't work out the way you think it's going to. But the payoff is amazing and worth all the hard work. You are watching our dear multi-core about to contact the ocean floor. At this point, we had had a couple of unsuccessful cores. That means no mud. So the pressure was on to bring good samples to the surface. By the way, yours truly is landing this one. Impact. Oh, wow. That looks good. That was a lot easier. I watched that. Get that in there. Okay, so now it should be locked down. So now when it comes up, it should be a perfect core if it works. Increase speed. Oh, I've got a couple of them. <laughs> it, it released that one. Oh, there, it there, it there, there it goes. There it goes. There we go. Success. Now it's time to bring her back up. This is one of the stations we can operate the winch system from. Oh, who's that? Hey, Larkin. <laughs> so they just got mud from the core, uh, we went down to uh, 5,300 meters and they pulled mud out from the ocean floor and brought it all the way back up to the surface. Mud from 5,300 meters below the ocean surface. I am like through the roof excited right now. My inner nerd is freaking out right now. I'm helping them carry around some of the equipment that we used to uh, together the mud. And it just feels really cool. Like I'm holding a piece of equipment that is 5,300 meters below the surface. Ah! Thank you all so much for joining me. Be sure to tune in next week for a backstage pass into the lab. What are these scientists doing with this mud anyway? I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please do hit like and subscribe. This research is so interesting and it just keeps getting cooler. Trust me, you do not want to miss out. See you all next week on my Salty Sea Life. Mahalo!